You're struggling to make your videos better. I mean, you can tell that something is missing, but you don't know what. Is it editing, color grading, the way you film? You can't figure it out and it's frustrating. I know I've been there. So in this video, I wanna share five things that you can immediately do and will guarantee make your videos better. So let's start with some awesome music and start with the first tip. Your videos are generic. They don't stand out from the rest. So how can you make them stand out? Well, by finding your own style, your signature look. And although that sounds complicated, it is not. You can look at existing techniques like motion tracking. Do you like that? Cool, add it to your arsenal. Create motion track text or graphics with every video you make. Combine that with other elements like a specific color grade that you use for all of your videos. We oftentimes work with big text pop-ups. It's nothing new or special, but it creates a style. We're always using the same font and colors and combining various editing techniques like that makes your own unique style. And you can do that for commercial work as well, like weddings. Clients are more likely to pick you if you can show a unique style in the way that you edit and shoot your videos. Because you're not like the rest, you stand out. Which brings me to the next tip, which is all about the use of music. There are two kinds of music and you should use both of them. The first type are what I call fillers. They just fill your videos so that there's something playing in the background. And you need that to make it more pleasant to watch. We use it all the time when doing technical explanations or just talking. And you can get such songs from licked as you likely know by now. They are a longtime friend of the channel and they're also sponsoring this video. And as you might have noticed, we started the video with Never Gonna Give You Up from Rick Astley. It's a song that everyone knows. It sets a mood, makes everyone smile and it's super engaging. Such songs are not fillers, but instead attention seekers because they have a strong emotion. And with this, I got your attention again. And by the way, those who still don't know, you can license that song as well. There are over a million mainstream tracks to choose from. You can license some of the biggest artists use their songs in your videos and even monetize it. Mainstream songs are super powerful in getting that attention as people are familiar with these tracks. However, you can't use it throughout your entire edit. Songs with a strong emotion or that are recognizable have such an impact because they suddenly appear. So make room for background music or silent parts as well. Now background music can be mainstream songs too, just as long as they don't scream in your face too much. Usually this is gonna be instrumental only. You can also pick one of the 100,000 stock tracks on Licked. There are tons of instrumentals there. So we're gonna let this music play a bit as we go on to the next tip and talk again about these attention grabbers when the time is right. In the meantime, if you sign up to Licked now, you'll receive an incredible discount, including 14 days of free stock music and a whopping 50% off your first mainstream track. Get started on improving the quality of your content. So to learn more about Licked and how it can take your videos to the next level, check the link in the description down below. Tip number three, every video needs a hero. And although you are that hero, it's not what I mean. I'm talking about a hero shot, or even better, a couple of hero shots. Making your videos better is all about standing out and moving your audience. That's what we've learned so far, but you can't do everything with editing. That's why you need to go the extra mile for at least one or two shots while filming. You want to create a hero shot that stands out from all of the rest. Something so breathtaking and incredible that people want to rewind to watch that one particular shot again. That's when you know you've got a hero shot. In my Elements of the Pharaohs video, I have a couple, one of which is this amazing shot of Ellen standing on a very dangerous cliff and I was very lucky as all of a sudden a bird flew around her. It was at that moment I knew I caught my hero shot. But that shot alone probably took me a couple of hours to take. There's a huge distance between me and Ellen. The cliffs were not easy to walk on. I had to wait until no other people were in the shot. The clouds needed to be good. There was a lot of things going on there. But I am so happy that I took that extra effort because it gave me that hero shot. That shot alone lifts the entire video to another level. So try to find your hero shot when working on a video project. Maybe that's from a very specific angle. Maybe you have to wait for the sunlight to be at just the right spot or get up very early to get a sunrise through the dawn of the mist. And when you not get it at first try, then you go try again until you have your hero shot. And going back briefly to the second tip, we just went to another climax with a very powerful and emotional song. This is a moment where I caught your attention again. Now, I used Sigur Rós for that from Licked, but you can also work with one of their stock tracks. They provide great search tools to find the perfect track. You can use their curated playlists and filter by mood, genre, or video theme. Or they also have an advanced search bar if you're looking for a particular track. I usually favorite a bunch of songs or create custom playlists, and then after my first selection, I pick the song that I would actually use. And now let's change the vibe again, be it a bit 
more energetic as we move on to tip number four. We're building further on the idea of making your videos stand out, and you can do that with eccentric camera angles. So occasionally cut to an angle that is weird, but cool. This could be a very low angle or a top shot, POV shots are really cool to use as well, slant your camera angle and whatnot. Occasionally break free from the standard long, medium and close-up shots. It'll make your videos so much better. The same thing goes for extreme close-ups and long shots. Very often they're not being used and I understand that. If you're doing things like weddings, you don't want to stick your camera into the bride's face. But think of other ways you can add extreme close-ups. This could be some flowers or with a tele lens, a close-up of someone crying from happiness. And get extreme extreme long shots as well, fly a drone, or get your camera up a hill to get an overview of the location. The more you can mix different camera angles, the more dynamic your videos will become. Which brings me to the last tip, which is not to be satisfied too quickly. I mean, we've all been there. You gotta do some gimbal shots and you try a couple of them, but it doesn't really go well. And eventually you say, ah, oh, well, it's, it's good enough. Let's move on to the rest of the shoot. Well, don't ever do that. Treat every shot like millions of people are gonna see it. And if mistakes do slip through, try to fix those in the edits. You can use things like the warp stabilizer for shaky footage, you can color correct shots, reframe something if you didn't respect the rule of thirds, but that also takes time, so don't be happy too quickly with an edit. And when you think you're done and you're happy with the result, then take a break from it for a couple of days and revisit your edits. Are you still happy? then that's great. But if you have second thoughts, it means that your edits still need some more work. Oftentimes, I would not even use a certain shot if it's really bad. Like, if something is overexposed, then just don't use it at all. And if it's a really important shot, then try to make something creative from that by overlaying a graphic or something. Try to hide your mistakes if that is possible. Now, something that not many people know about me is that in my 12 years of making videos now for a living, you know, there has not been a short film or creative work where I'm 100% satisfied from. It's still a journey that I'm on, and every video or film that I make, I try to make it better than the previous, hoping that one day I'll reach my goal and finally be proud. And I don't know when that day comes, but until then, thank you for watching, and stay creative. God knows what is hiding in those weak and drunken hearts, guess he kissed the girls and made them cry.